photo and videos also kindly and maintain the decorum of the class right uh i hope everyone is doing good yesterday we discussed two types of questions speaking questions and uh, today uh, we are going to uh, discuss the third type of question okay uh, so now let me share the screen for you guys i hope you guys practiced also yes uh today we are going to discuss short answer questions okay so what is that short answer question what do we mean by short answer question they will be asking questions so you need to just uh give the answer in a minute or uh i mean uh, not in a minute in a word or two you need to give the answer like one word uh, answers it could be for example if they ask uh, so a person who mends the shoes uh, so what do you say so you you your answer should be cobbler right so that means what so uh, like uh, you need to answer the questions within a word or two so for these questions that's the reason it is called as short questions here it is more of generic general knowledge english general knowledge i can say and also word knowledge it is based on word knowledge and it is a kind of language skill that they are going to test here because terminology is so we see that uh, like exact word right word usage is problem among uh, non native speakers that means we international people uh, of english uh, so uh, basically have the trouble of addressing the right things using right word okay so even you people would have noticed so uh, like people uh, like uh, just randomly address table for desk uh, for dining table just a table we say so uh, we have that common terminology we just use so to make sure that if each and every person have uh, that knowledge of right understanding of the things and the words so they ask these questions okay basically it um, test your knowledge of english words here basically short questions what it test the knowledge of english words there and how many questions you are going to get you will be getting 10 to 12 questions so in this okay and uh, the question uh, length will be what 9 seconds and um, the candidates need to complete it in 10 seconds okay so that means within 10 seconds you need to answer out so that means nine will, the question length will be just one line question they will be asking one liner your answer should be within one word so 10 seconds is enough to answer the thing in fact you need to answer within 10 seconds the recording will happen within 10 seconds okay this is the thing basically we have the questions cover various topics situations everything but where exactly exactly they will be asking you the question so you know how you need to work it is don't get uh, confused here okay what is that i can say you should not get confused rather you should stay calm on this particular thing okay what you need to do you should be calm composed and understand the question properly and always remember that you will not have any extra second or anything that you can recall the question and then think over and then uh, give it so you should always be very attentive when you are listening to these questions what you need to be so you need to be very attentive you you need to be a good listener good listener in the sense what so you should not get distracted for anything anywhere okay don't get distracted for anything anywhere and that is the main issue we need main thing that we need to keep eye on okay so what is that so uh, we we need to listen to the question properly that is what we can say yeah and also you need to think simple your the words what they will be asking the things it will be most commonly used uh, things only 
don't think that something very high frequency something out of the box and all no they they are going to ask something that is normally used while speaking okay that means it's a common language skill they are going to this one yes concentration as i said concentration is very 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 important so yes here you need to know synonyms also antonyms exact opposites also they will be asking opposites also for example they may ask a question what's opposite to comfort so for comfort what is the opposite so it's discomfort okay we can't say uncomfortable why for comfortable opposite is uncomfortable okay for comfort opposite is discomfort that means what you need to understand so you need to know the words here basically terminologies you should know you should know certain jargons and you should know one word substitutions and also you should be updated with some of the general knowledge skills here okay so and uh, see that means a lot of knowledge should be worked on knowledge so easily when you read things when you uh, come across the things you people attain and one more thing i would like to uh, tell you is that the questions of pte will be repeated okay so it will be repeated in the sense what am i saying Kindly practice the previous paper questions, okay? Because most of the time it is seen that so we'll get at least some percentage of questions repeated on overall PT, okay? On overall PT you will have this repeated questions. For example, if some person gives the exam like three four times, okay? So in a stretch you will see that that person will be getting repeated. I mean that person would encounter the questions which he had already taken in the previous which he had encountered in the previous test that means what it is understood and it is observed and it is experienced that yes the questions of pte will be repeated whereas so if you see uh aisles and all you don't have this repetition see every time new thing okay so therefore you know, this is one of the blessing in disguise thing that we'll be having so we should be uh, very alert about it and when we know that we have this weakness in the test so we should practice all the previous uh, questions that that they had asked in the test year okay and also make sure we'll not be having more time 10 seconds within 10 seconds you should present it so because uh, once the recorder stops even if you tell the correct answer there is no use before start immediately has the recorder starts and uh end before it stops okay so that time management you guys need to focus on we don't have a lot of time to think over oh what is it what is it no so when will not require this lot of thinking process only when so we uh, basically if we practice or if we see uh, the things regularly if we practice them then only we can do it focus on pronunciation we need to focus on pronunciation also you can't just randomly tell anything there so please focus on your pronunciation yesterday also i said when you are doing your introduction when you are uh, uh, reading aloud so your pronunciation should be correct there so don't take at all on this particular thing now let me take you people to the questions here okay so now the questions so will be followed like this okay i have few questions here uh, that has been extracted from the exam only what is the name of the capital city of australia so it is canberra not sydney many people that's what it again comes under general knowledge isn't it so it comes under general and your answer should be only canberra you cannot say the name of the capital the capital city of australia is canberra no so you have to name it how so just canberra what is the answer you try to name it so what is the name of the capital city of australia it's canberra see what do we call a person who studies rocks and minerals 
so that means it's a terminology not a substitution it is so it's a terminology we can say so geologist okay so the person that means all the logists see i am saying one thing here so you uh, take up certain you try to do the research you take up uh, make a list of people studying different things and uh, so try to have a note of it why because they may ask this and the capitals of uh, uh, this one what is that uh, international cities continents and all you try to have a idea or don't be what is that uh, uh, confused or don't be clueless of these things because it is international exam hence they will be asking so the capitals of different countries and their locations so their language uh, so how people of that particular countries are referred to as like uh, so usa people how do we refer them as americans indian people indian people how do we refer as citizens of india we refer as indians like this they will be asking the questions so you need to work on these particular things there see now what is the term for the money people pay to the government to support public services so people paying to the government and what is that to support basically public service see people paying to the government uh, we for a second we'll understand oh it is tax but they have added on they have given a simple trap what is that to support the public services now when we look at this last part we'll get a little confused what is this public services yeah definitely whatever the taxes we are paying so from that only all the public services tend to happen your roads uh, uh, constructions uh, your this one what is that uh, monuments it could be uh, like facilities so everything tends to happen where from the tax that we pay so what is that it is tax see the simple answer here is what tax now which of the following is a not is not a real transportation is overboard submarine or spaceship now it is confused now transportation means you people will be thinking okay transportation means we think only about bus aeroplane cars and trains okay but here we have all of these things overboard we have submarine we have spaceship we have see overboard is that playing board okay so it is not whereas submarine it takes the people inside it is used for traveling spaceship is also used for traveling both of them is used for traveling but overboard is just a uh, uh, this one obby uh, this one okay it is only used for just a fun time or obby so therefore which is not the real form of transport system so you can see it's hoverboard okay and how many sides does a uh, hexagon have now this also you people need to remember like all the polygons okay so hexagon means x is six so therefore it is what six-sided figure is called as hexagon then we have heptagon nonagon pentagon quadrupan so we have quadrilateral it is basically so all these things we have kindly have a look at them remember those things in fact you will be seeing that some of the questions are from what is that your schools okay so whatever you have studied in schools colleges even those things will be coming out here and also don't just think that oh it will be focusing only on the general things no it can focus on history science technology math english literature general things issues the questions can come from anywhere it is not just focused on one particular thing okay now what is the term of two babies born from the same mother at the same time see at the same time is the twist it is twins if three babies triplets if we have four babies born at the time so it is quadruplets okay if multiple babies are born at a time so to her mother then we'll say polylets okay so what is the opposite of past see i said they are going to ask opposites also and the thing so the opposite of fast is slow 
which planet is known as the red planet so it is mars which is the planet that is known as a red planet it is mars how many strings does a violin have so four strings you need to know this also which equipment see which musical instrument works how so they may ask so which one uh, which musical instrument is played by strings uh, which one is used so they are going to ask all these things okay so you people need to have the clarity on these particular things that means you need to work on as i said they could ask the questions from anything it is not just from one thing they are going to ask the short questions and they can ask from anything in what household appliance do you cook food using hot air circulation from where hot hair circulation it is don't tell hair fryer because a hair fryer is just a different form of what is that uh, oven only so it is what oven so what is the thing oven is the uh, thing where the food is cooked because of hot air circulation okay then what do you call a people who studies weather so it is meteorologists what do we call them as so we call them as meteorologists what is the opposite of hot cold see so simple it is so you will not get confused here yeah i said terminologies also they will be asking but at the same time they'll ask some of the simple things also like which type of building allows astronomers to observe celestial objects they are asking which is the type of building that allows astronomers to observe celestial objects did anyone had the idea of it so did you people knew that it is observatory the building name is known as observatory see i i just want to want you people to understand laboratory laboratory is what a place where uh, the, this would experiments are conducted now we are observing here so observatory watery is that place where something will happen so observatory you did you guys relate this what is it observatory which type of building allows astronomer to observe celestial objects observatory and also guys i would also want you people to work on or take the list of see whatever the things i am saying make a list of those things so even you people make a list of different pro professions that means uh, the one who is expert in heart okay doctor who is expert in heart we call him as god just like that so you try to make a list of what is that professions and what they do and who do that okay so that also you people need to make a list and also you need to make a list of different games also and whether it is indoor game or outdoor game that also you should have uh, understanding and how many players will be playing those games also you need to have the idea on okay so that is what we people need to have your we need you people to do that then uh, what do we call a person who writes books or stories it's author so what do we call them as it's art so what do you call a doctor who specializes in treating the heart cardiologist see all these things you know but immediately you need to recall 10 seconds guys within 10 seconds you need to submit the answer remember that it is not a fun game okay so you should realize what is the question you should understand you should recall your answer and you need to present that okay so next thing which form of transportation uses tracks and is commonly found in cities which form of transportation uses the tracks now guys okay so if they give nothing you can use train and is commonly found in cities now we have metros also metros also uses tracks now these days isn't it yeah. so you can say metros also is considered as what trains 
so therefore trains tracks in the sense whatever it goes on okay and on the uh, this one what is that inside the city if you say like uh, in the mid of the cities if you see we have trams also trams in the sense what so in the mid of the cities only they will be uh, going okay and these trains will be what so uh, these trams will be very slow in nature it won't be very fast just like your trains that they require a different this one but chance it moves in and around the uh, place only what is the name of the study of the earth's atmosphere and weather it is meteorology how many continents are there on earth seven what is the name of the device used to measure temperature it is thermometer and here also we have analog and digital analog means the readings will be there digital means direct it will be mentioning okay that digital uh, represent if the readings is presented in the form of digits digital okay so then uh, leds okay so then it is a digital thermometer so and uh, so uh, otherwise it is uh, your uh, analog thermometers next thing what do we call the pe person who leads an uh, orchestra? Okay, so who is the person who leads the orchestra? So what, what do we call them? It is your conductor. Okay, so what is that? We can say conductor. Now conductor means we think the bus conductor. No, conductor has many meanings. There is one more conductor, the substance which allows heat and light to flow through it, it is known as a conductor. Okay. So, that what do we call the person? So, who leads an orchestra, he is, con is considered as your uh, this one, conductor. Okay. And the next thing, which animal is known as a king of the jungle? A lion. This also you need to know some uh, <coughs> abbreviations and also like uh, the titles given to different animals they may ask for so the uh your national animals so uh, like that they may ask here okay and what is the main gas that human breathes so it is again your science so oxygen and what is the main gas that is uh th this one thrown out by a plant it is again oxygen. What is the gas that is inhaled by? So your uh, plants, it is carbon dioxide. Okay. So that means what basically if you see, we have many things related, many science-based questions also, they will be asking here. Okay. And the next thing that we have here, what do you call a person who travels to space? it's astronauts what do we call so we call them as astronauts see this knowledge is very important guys why we have covered almost 50 questions here means so because we don't want you people to just neglect it because these 10 to 12 questions goes correct okay these are easy way of scoring the uh, marks okay but if you people don't score on this then on the difficult part you it will not be possible so therefore be careful and whichever i'm saying easy try to concentrate more and try to get scores on them okay so that is what we want and that is the purpose we are discussing here all of these questions otherwise i would have given the hint of three four questions and then we could have moved on to the next question type no so we don't want to do that at least by this process of learning you at least you will remember few of the words what is the name of the organ so responsible for pumping blood in human body it is heart okay so yeah so for purification it is kidney so for the one which replace the insulin it is pancreas like this they will be asking don't think that they won't ask all these things they purposely will ask all these things because this is again the knowledge of english language they consider it as a knowledge of english language they won't feel that whether you are a science student or uh, this one history student or uh, humanities students they won't think that so their main thing is what yes you people need to 
know the terminologies, the general term, terminologies that you people need to know. And the next thing, what is the main gas that makes up the Earth's atmosphere? Now, these things you have studied in your school days, like the components of the Earth's atmosphere. Yes. So you want, they want you to remember that as well. So it's nitrogen. These are extracted from our, uh, this one, what is that I can say, very much from our, uh, this one, PT. So therefore, this is very, very, very important questions. And see, what do we call the document that gives a person a right to vote? So what do we call it that? So it's a ballot. What do we call? Ballot. And what do we call a set of instructions on how to cook? So it is nothing but recipe. The instructions so that we have to cook, it is our recipe. Many times what happens, even though we know this word, so what will happen, you know, so we'll forget to there at that time. So only we say, try to recall here. What do we call a set of instructions? Uh, so how to cook a dish? So it is your recipe. Which one is a form of renewable energy, wind or cold? So here they are asking the renewable form of energy. See, here they are asking renewable. You need to know the definition of renewable, the difference of renewable and uh, this non-renewable uh, resources of energy. Renewable means what? So the one which can be generated on and on. Okay. Whereas non-renewable is what? So the thing which cannot be generated. So wind and coal, wind can, is generated by nature. But coal will take a lot of time. Once the coal abundance is done, so it will take many years, thousands of years to produce this coal. Okay. So therefore, what? Wind is a, this one we have. So what is the name of the large ocean between North America and Europe? I said to you, na, general knowledge plays a greatest role here. So please keep yourself updated with a bit of general knowledge. I've been telling this. Kindly take this on a serious note. Yes. What is the name of large ocean that lies between North America and Europe? It is Atlantic. What we'll say? So we can say that has Atlantic Ocean. What do we call the person who takes care of teeth and oral health? I said, no, we need to work on like with uh, our this one. So it's uh, terminologies, uh, the professions and all. Yeah, dentist. What we can say? Dentist. How many wheels does a tricycle have? So three cycle. So tricycle, bicycles, four, uh, two cycle, uh, two wheels there will be. What do you call the center of the autumn nucleus? And what do you call the things surrounding the nucleus? So your electrons. And what is present in the nucleus? Protons and neutrons. So like this, they are going to ask. That means the atoms also came off in, the, uh, in between, isn't it? So uh, next, what is the name of large extinct animal that lived during prehistoric time? Which is that? So it is your dinosaurus. Okay. So now, what do we call the person who operates on patients in a hospital? It's surgeon. Okay. So they are asking only what is that? A person who operates uh, there. So anybody who operates. So we call them as surgeon. How many days are there in leap year? In leap year, we see we have 366 days we have. Okay. And what is the name of the punctuation mark that shows excitement or emphasis? It is exclamatory mark or exclamation mark, what we can say. So what is the name of the punctuation mark that shows excitement or emphasis? It's exclamation mark. Which part of the body we use for smelling? Nose. Okay. And also they ask, what is this? From where the air enters? Nostrils. They will ask that thing also. What do you call a building where 
uh, plays and performances are shown. It's a theater, isn't it? So what do we call it? It's not auditorium. It is uh, uh, this one, theater. Why? The plays and performances are, happens only on theaters here. Okay. Now, what is the name of the green pigment present in the plants that helps in photosynthesis? What is it? It's chlorophyll. What we can say? Chlorophyll. Again, science came into picture here, isn't it? How many players? See, why we are showing all these things means you need to focus on all the words. It is not that, oh, it is English language test. Let us focus only on the literature-based words. No. You need to focus on all of these particular types there. So it's everything is available on the sites. So therefore, you people can just pick it up and speak there. OK, next one. Now. So uh, like, what do you call a doctor who specializes in treating the eyes? It is what? So they are called as ophthalmologist, what they will be calling as ophthalmologist okay so then what is the name of the musical with six strings often played with the prick it's guitar so six strings and guitar okay it is called as so yes now let me not here i'll be showing more one word substitutions for you yes the one who specializes in the study of psychological effects of words. That means the one who works on the psychological effects of words. So what they are called as psychologists. What do we call them as? We call them as psychologists. And uh, this one, what is that? What emergency services is usually called when someone is in trouble? That means to whom you people call when you people are in trouble. So when you are on the beaches, it's basically what Coast Guard, isn't it? So what uh, what do whom will be calling? Will be calling so Coast Guards. The medical graduate serving as an apprentice in hospital taking medical training is known as intern. Okay, a person like it's not only for medical. Anyone who is serving in the field of their study, uh, so for in the training period, so they are called as what? Intern. It is not just for your this one, what is that? Medical, but for any field. So uh, in the training process, if they are so working, so they are called as what? Intern. But if they are working in the same particular field, not in the other field there. Okay. And the next thing that we have, what crime has someone stealing the items from the shops committed? See, it is not stealing the uh, items, OK? It is not robbery. They are saying, say, for example, I'm working in some place, OK, in a shop. From there only, I'm trying to uh, pick up the, what is that, uh, uh, things, uh, to uh, rob the things from there. So basically, I'm doing what? Shoplifting. I'm not robbing there. What am I doing? I'm shoplifting. And what do we mean by shoplifting? Yeah, they there was a trust, but we broke the tr trust and we just we are lifting off the shop there. Okay, so that is what we basically have. Treatment of diseases by drugs whose effect on the body is opposite of the disease. Say, for example, uh, we have fever. In fever, what happens? The temperature goes up isn't it so to reduce this temperature they will give the medicine that means what the medicine which will act so uh, against the diseases symptoms okay and those type of medicine what we call it as we call it as our allopathic okay so the medicine which acts in against the disease that is called as allopathic Allopathic, what we'll call allopathic. Remember that. Okay. And next, the doctor who specializes in the treatments of children's disease, it's pediatrician. What is the piece of paper 
which is wherein official information is written. So it is your document. Okay. So the one who reaches the final and who becomes the champion reaches the final and last game. Okay. So the last game in the sporting co uh, competition to decide the champions. So that last game, so of the series, we call it as what? Finals there. Then. What is the series of events that happen in your mind while you are sleeping? Ha, what is it? Now immediately we'll get confused. Are you, what is this? We don't know. So it is nothing but a dream. Okay. What it is? It is dream. So dream in, in the sense what basically uh, like a series of events that is happening. So when we are asleep. Okay. So that's, that's our dream there. So next up. Uh, what do you call the number of people living in a specific area? What do we call? Population, not citizen. So don't get confused to citizen. It is your population. Okay. And then what is the, the population of a certain place? So we call as citizen. Population of a certain place we call as citizen. What is the most important document you would have to show if you want to hire a car? Yeah. So driving license. If you have to drive also, so you need to have a, a driving license. Maybe in our country, we no need to be. Anyone can carry the uh, car. Okay. But uh, so if you want to drive, we need to show uh, this one. What is that driving license? But in other countries, you will be seeing that even if you have to purchase a, ca a car on your name, you need to have a driving license. Okay. In, in relation to that, they are asking this question. What is a violent conflict between two or more uh, countries call called war? What is it called when two or more people are speaking to each other? Conversation. What is a person belonging to an organization called member? The piece of equipment shows the person with direction when they are traveling? Compass. Okay. And what piece of equipment would you use for floating on the sea? If you want to float on the sea what is that equipment that you people will be using it's aquaplane see there are many things guys so that you people need to work on it is not just like one or two things that you will be working on yes to get all your 10 to 12 questions correct okay so this is what you people need to work on and still to add more clarity to your things, I have some of the high frequency five word, uh, 500 word substitution. That means what? Yeah, to some extent, they may ask you people with these questions also. A building where animals are butchered. Here they are asking, so they are saying a building where animals are butchered. Butchered in the sense what? where animals are slaughtered. We think that, oh, animals are slaughtered means we think it should be a meat stall or uh, something like that. No, guys. In the meat stall, in the chicken sh uh, shop and all what. So they try to, what is that, uh, get already butchered animal they'll get and they will be selling it. But here the question is, a building where animals are butchered. That means where the animals are slaughtered. It is what? Abatia. What we'll call it as abatia. An act of abdicating or renouncing the throne is. What is abdicating or renouncing? Giving up the throne by self. Okay. Sacrificing the power. Not only the throne. So sacrificing the power so we can as what? So abdication. That process is known as abdication. And the branch of physics concerned with properties of sound and all. So it, it is acoustics. Items of additional material added at the end of a book or other publications, it is addendum. What do we call it as? It is called as addendum. Okay, when we add the things at the end that those extra things if we are adding at the end of the book so we call it as what addendum 
urging or requesting someone or earnestly to do something it's adjourning what we'll call it as adjourning so indefinite and very long period of time Aeon. So for very long time, there is no end only. The things are going on. So that means what it is aeon. Sets of principle concerned with nature and appreciation of beauty. So aesthetic. See, these are some of the things that we have, which you people need to work on. That means I'm showing. See, synonyms. You need to uh, work on your one word substitutions, the terminologies. So that means basically you people need to know what. So you need to know the words. Okay. So it's all the word games here. Right. So it's all what the word games that you people need to remember okay so you need to work on all these things yes definitely you can get the complete questions 10 to 12 questions you can get completely correct but make sure that you work on all these things okay so now uh, q and a round please ask me the questions that we have yes uh musharraf i'll be doing that i'll be we'll be sharing don't worry about that okay Any other queries you have? That means, see, this part is easily you can get, but you need to have the knowledge of English. Any questions? No questions. Pakka. A lot of practice, guys. Without practice, you can't uh, this one. Okay. So kindly practice. Yeah, Shweta. You can, uh, you can text questions, Shweta. Yeah, uh, Anupa, Anupurna. Uh, actually, I tried to uh, uh, read aloud yesterday. I have get a lot of mistakes when I pronouncing naturally some words and all. How to rectify that? Okay. So Shweta, see here, like first of all, if you are having uh, uh, this one struggle, if you are struggling to pronounce the word, better is that you type the word, listen to its pronunciation, practice it, and you yourself speak it out and record. While speaking out that particular word, you try to record it and you listen back, okay? So you will understand whether like you are pronouncing some letters wrong there or what is there. Accordingly, you try to work on uh, there and also if um, uh, like in some cases i would also uh, can you please mute so there is a lot of students from you so uh, and also there is one more thing that you people need to work on that is your practicing tongue twisters okay so <coughs> uh, kindly do the tongue twisters and that will smoothen your uh, this one what is that pronunciation Okay, okay, Annapurna. It will okay. help me. Thank you. Yes. Welcome, welcome. Uh, yes, Mr. Uftin, to Yeah, give some tips, uh, madam, to improve English skills. Definitely, Musharraf. So that's what. Read a lot, but don't read storybooks and all. Okay. When you read, see, because we are mainly focusing, you need to improve quickly for your test, isn't it? So what you need to do is you read something like something generic thing, newspapers, these things you read while you are reading also wherever you are coming across the words, okay, different words which you are not understanding, kindly make sure to take the words there, make your own journal, take the words, find the meanings of them and see where it is used and how it is used and also every sentence whatever you read you try to see how grammatically it is constructed in what tense it is and what it is trying to convey so these understandings you should have but don't yeah one more tip for you people is don't try to imitate others speaking okay you saw something some nice group of words spoken by someone and don't just randomly without verification don't repeat it because many times uh like the person whom you would have imitated would himself like 
uh, uh, would have committed uh, mistakes there. For example, so we have uh, one trend. Uh, so when we ask someone to introduce themselves, what happens? They uh, usually they start saying like this: "Myself, K S Anapurna Murugan. I belong to X Y Z." Karke will be uh, talking about starting a sentence or using that myself is something is a wrong thing why myself is a, a reflexive pronoun how can i use it for my subject how can i use it as a subject you so it's technically wrong because it sounds good because you people absorb many people use it so you just randomly use it don't do that and also i belong to xyz place why you belong so you live in some place you don't belong to some place okay belonging is what a uh, ownership do you think xyz place is your owner no right so that's what so don't just imitate others try to what is that before even you use uh, imitate others try to see whether that sentence is grammatically correct or not what it uh, Musharraf and others. Oh no, Rahim. How can we say manual? Manual is very different. Recipe is the one where we uh, give uh, the this one. What is that? The instructions, everything, ingredients, instructions, everything. So it has to be recipe only. You can't if you use manual, it is in wrong there. If we don't know the exact answer, uh, if you give random words, they won't give any marks. Will not have any marks for random words. I say why we should come into the situation. So where will not be knowing. See, all these are some of the things are generic. Prepare well. Get yourself prepared in such a way that you should not feel that, okay, I can't answer this. So that's the thing, okay? Yes, any other doubt? But you need to practice every day. And with regards to reading also, do, re, reading aloud, don't ever get depressed. Oh, I'm reading, I'm committing mistakes. Don't get uh, depressed. So why? Because maybe this is the first time that you have, uh, uh, what is that, so consciously looking into your reading skills. Isn't it? This this will uh, this may be your first practice, but as you practice, okay, as you practice, what happens? So you will be seeing that. So there will be improvement in pronunciation, also speed, also uh, the uh, recognition of the words. So everything will be improved there. Okay. Yes. Now, any other doubts, guys? Okay. If no doubts, so we'll be winding up the session for the day. So, yes, tomorrow we'll be meeting you guys with many more different question types. So, for uh, this one speaking, and stay tuned. Okay. Yes. Bye, guys. Take care.